Aloha, welcome back to Practical Printing. Today we are on part six of our Moai series and we're going to start installing the electronics boards and the laser and galvo engine. If you're not familiar with the PO Poly Moai printer, there is a link in the description down below. Feel free to pause the video, go check out the printer and then come back here. If you've missed parts one through five, I encourage you to go watch those first so that you're up to date on where we're at on the printer build. So with all that said, let's get to it. Okay, so I've already broken out all of the pieces that we're going to need out of the manual for this. We have the box of electronics components, the two Galvo controllers, the bag of M35 screws and the Galvo and laser unit itself. I do want to highly stress there are the two mat, uh, mirrors on the Galvo unit here. Do not touch those. You will destroy your Galvo unit. That is what reflects the light up into the vat to form your print. Okay, I'm going to be trying to use this camera on the boom to try to focus down inside of the tray here. Uh, to get you a better look at where things are going. So let's see if I can try to do that without getting in the way of the actual build itself. Okay, so one of the things I want to point out here is that there's two Galvo drivers and they are slightly different. They will be labeled either X Galvo or Y Galvo and on the board itself near this power supply connector, if it can focus on that, you can see that it says HTY, the other one will say HT-X. Okay. So these are going to install near the right side of the frame here with the electronics facing outwards. So here and here and we're going to just use a couple of N4-6 screws, which I grabbed the wrong ones. We're going to use M4-6 screws to tighten those down. So let me go ahead and grab those and we'll get those down. Wow, okay, that was a little bit tougher than it looked. Uh, partly the screws on the bottom piece, um, the, the holes I should say that they, that they thread into, they're tapped, but it looked like there was still a little bit of the residue from the powder coating on there. So note to self on that is you may want to, before trying to put the boards on, run the, th the screws in and then pull them back out just to make sure that they thread in a little bit easier. All right, so we're going to flip this down and I'm going to try to move this up here. Okay, now we're going to get to the, the fun stuff. The first board that we want to pull out is the control board. which has the LCD on one side and the controllers on the back, and that's going to fit over there, like so. Let's set that out of the way. Now we're going to move to the M3 screws that we pulled out the first time, and we're going to put in six of these, two in either corner and two by this connector here, uh, labeled key. And we'll get this down. So let's move on to the next piece, shall we? Okay, the next piece that we are going to install is the SD card reader, 
which looks like this. It has your terminals on one side and the SD card socket on the other. Now this is going to secure with main. Okay, this is going to connect to these uh, terminal headers here. It's just going to plug right in like so, aligning the holes with the, the slot underneath. And then we're going to use the metal plate, which is in the other box. We're going to use the metal plate and a total of six of these M35 screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, to screw it down. Now I'm actually going to pull that back off now that we know how it goes. I'm going to attach this to here first. So it's a little bit easier to get these screws in. We'll put the last two screws in right there to secure it. Okay, we have the SD card board on now. Okay, next we're going to move on to the power board, which is going to go right here. Now the orientation of this is going to be, so that we have the SD card reader there, it's going to be orientated like so. There's a picture to clarify in the manual, but you want the power socket towards the bottom, basically. And then that's going to take four more of these M3 screws to hold it down. Okay, we now have the power board installed as well. Our last board to put in is this power knob, which is going to go through this little hole right here. It's just going to sit like so. To, to make that work, we need to lift up that front end so that that can protrude through. And with that being said, I want to set a box or something under that lip uh, so that it doesn't smash that knob. So for now, let's steal that box. We still have a good camera angle there. Yes, good. It's two more screws and we will tighten down this board. Okay, that is all of our boards. The last one to do here is the Galvo. And remember what I said that we want to be very, very, very careful not to touch those little tiny mirrors there. Okay, so the Galvo is going to mount looks like to the bottom like so with the brass laser pointing towards the left and the circuit or the connectors uh, basically pointing towards there. So let us rotate this back up again and get it off of its face plate. So you can see the orientation of how this is going to go. It's going to go just like so. We're going to use three M36 screws to tighten that down.
Okay, one step that I missed here was connecting the XY Galvo connectors, or power connectors, to the Galvo board here before mounting that up. And these are labeled uh, with the same sticker, the HT-X or the HT-Y, so that you know which one is which. Okay, that concludes getting all of our electronics pieces in there. We've got the Galvo here, the two Galvo controller boards, the power board, the knob, the main controller, and the SD card. Now let's look at moving on to the cabling. Okay, cabling is going to be a little bit harder to show here. Um, so I'm going to just try to work through that on the overhead camera. Let's go back to this guy. I'm going to rotate this, and I'm still going to use that box to keep that from getting squashed. There's all the cabling, each one of them is labeled, so we're just going to basically match them up to the connections as we need to. Okay, there we have it. Everything is wired up. So I think that's going to wrap it up for episode six. We've now got all of the electronics installed, wired up, with the exception of the power cable, which we'll do when we put on the back panel. And we're ready to start moving on from here. Okay, I think that wraps it up for episode six. We've now got all of the electronics installed and wired, and we're ready to move on from there. So I will close it with that. If you're liking the Moai series, be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell down below so that way you get a notification anytime a new video in the series is posted. And with that, I bid you aloha.